This isn't going to be a rant or a video that discusses the Ukraine and Russia situation at length. I feel there are people who are way more qualified to talk about the situation in detail than me, but rather a short video expressing my support for Ukraine and the Ukrainian civilians. This is a classic example of an imperialist state taking land that they have no right to take under the guise of these are our people too, so we have a right to take this land. As Ukraine attempts to fight off rigid imperialism, the people who lose the most here are the Ukrainian and Russian civilians. Many innocent Ukrainians are dying. Many families are being ripped apart due to a draft. Parents are saying goodbye to their children, having no clue if this is going to be their final goodbye or not, to go fight in a war where their survival is uncertain at best. And let's not forget that Russian civilians have nothing to do with this invasion. Many oppose it. They did not ask for a fascist government that invades other independent nations to take their land away. To me, this issue is very cut and dry. Either you stand with Ukraine or you're for fascism. Because this isn't much of a far cry away from Nazi Germany's invasion of Poland. If Ukraine is successfully taken over by Russia, there is no telling what the future may hold. Because Russia is almost certainly not going to stop after that. And by the way, to go into ranty mode for like two seconds, don't give me any of that Ukraine is a security threat to Russia bullshit. Look at a fucking map. Compare little ass Ukraine to big ass mother Russia. Yeah, Russia. Russia totally felt threatened by Ukraine, and this totally isn't a power move on Russia's part at all. No, definitely not. Yeah. So, I guess discard me not saying I won't rant at all in this video at the, be at the very beginning, but whatever. Uh, this isn't a comeback to YouTube. I'm still on hiatus for making videos. I just felt it would be wrong to not say anything about this situation in video form. I hope for the absolute best for Ukraine and its people, because its civilians most certainly don't deserve anything that's happening right now. Fuck Russia. That's all I have to say. Bye bye